Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I'm going to show you how to make Hero's Engine from a pop can. Check this out. All I'm using to make my Hero's Engine is some ball bearings, a little bit of string, a ring stand, my Bunsen burner, a needle, and a can of Diet Coke. The first step is to thread some string through something that can swivel. I'm using ball bearings. So I just tied a knot at the end of the string to hold it on to my ball bearings that are connected to my ring stand. And this is just so that the string can freely spin. Okay, the next step is to poke a small hole in your can of Coke. Make sure that you don't open it. So I'm gonna use my needle to do this and put it over a glass so you can drain your Coke out. So I'm just gonna poke a small hole right in the middle of it. And then I'm gonna let that drain it stops dripping, you can just shake that can up and that uh, carbonated pressure will just shoot the coke right out of that little hole. Okay, so here you can see the hole in one side. So I'm gonna turn around and wanna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, the next step is once you have a hole poked in both sides of the can, then you're going to take your needle and you're going to bend the hole so it's at an angle, okay? So I'm taking the needle and see how I'm bending it? I'm going to do that in the same way on both sides of the can. So here's the other side and I'm bending it. So now that hole has an angle to it. This is really important so the steam shoots out of each hole at an angle so the can spins. Okay, next, in order to generate a little bit of steam, you've got to put some water back into the can without opening the top. So do this just by pouring on your water and just the pressure of it falling over that hole. We get a little bit of water into the can. You don't need very much at all. That's plenty. Okay, next you're gonna tie a small loop from your chain and you're gonna slide that underneath the tab of your pop can without breaking the seal. So here you can see where I just slid the string underneath the tab without breaking the seal. And you want it so it's hanging directly over your Bunsen burner. So your setup looks sort of like this. Okay, now you're ready to turn on your Bunsen burner and put it right underneath the can and start heating up that water. And as that water starts to boil, it's going to release steam that's going to come shooting out of those holes. We know every action has an opposite and equal reaction, so the pressure of that steam should spin the can in the opposite direction. There it goes. Hero's engine. Now oh, it's really moving now. <laughs> A simple steam engine that you can make at home. So here's a picture of Hero of Alexandria's steam engine that he built about 2,000 years ago. Hero of Alexandria was a Greek engineer and he filled the basin of this apparatus with water and heated that water with fire below. And as it turned into steam, it rose through those tubes on the side of the sphere above, causing the sphere to spin as steam shot out of the handles on each side people would gather round to watch that sphere spin, and this was the first steam engine. Hero's Steam Engine of Alexandria, built 2,000 years ago. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.